chance of hail? Never zero. The weather brought to you by HELMP. For many people, losing weight isn't as simple as just modifying their diet and exercise. But now, a medically backed program is helping Aussies reset their metabolism and achieve incredible results. 41 year old Rachel has dropped more than 20 kilograms. Which is huge for someone who used to have to make their own clothes because I was just so large. But her road to achieve weight loss hasn't been easy. Suffering from size stigma for decades, Rachel became too anxious about her body to even see her doctor. Any time I went to the GP in my teens, into my adult years, it's, it's just been something that comes up at every turn. You need to lose weight. You need to lose weight. The latest research revealing she's not alone, with 52% of women feeling body shamed by medical professionals because of their weight. During healthcare consultations, they can feel judged, shamed. Nothing, nothing really to help me lose weight, but you just need to do it. Sick of fad and crash diets, Rachel eventually sought treatment through Juniper. Their clinical program promises to help patients reset their metabolic function through telehealth consults with GPs, plus medicinal, physical and psychological interventions. In Australia, we live in a very obesogenic environment, which makes weight gain so easy and weight loss so difficult. It's not simply a matter of energy in, energy out. Designed for long-term results, the program facilitates one-on-one -on -one advice around nutrition, movement, stress and sleep from dietitians and health coaches. But it also aims to address weight on a biological level too, with daily medication prescribed to eligible patients who can't get results from lifestyle and behaviour modifications alone. The medication approved for weight management works to reset the body's metabolic pattern to achieve around 10 to 15 per cent weight loss in a year. Their policy is you need to see a doctor before even being given the drug's name, but it's made from a naturally occurring hormone that regulates appetite, helps manage cravings and slows the metabolic system. We've very rigorously studied over thousands of patients over a number of years. Bridget O'Brien, Nine News. Time now for your full weather forecast and Gary, sounds like it's going to be a scorcher tomorrow. Oh, it will, Melissa. In fact, it'll be the warmest day of the month. Heading for mid-30s here in Ipswich and the western suburbs, low 30s along the coast. And that warm weather will stick around right through into the weekend and even early next week. It was a magic start to the day. Take a look at this sunrise. Just picture perfect. If you want to capture the sunrise again tomorrow morning, it should be equally as good. You'll need to be out of bed before 5am as our daylight hours continue to get a little bit longer. Now, temperatures across South East Queensland, well above average today for October. Let's take a look. And 31 degrees on the Gold Coast and Coolangatta, Bow Desert, Redcliffe 32, Archerfield, Brisbane, and right here in Ipswich 32. Caboolture, the top 33 degrees, while the Sunshine Coast, it felt the sea breeze reaching a high of just 28. The weather map a trough will trigger showers and storms over Queensland and northeast New South Wales. A low near Tassie will maintain showers across uh, Victoria, South Australia, southeast New South Wales. Showers and storms also likely over the top end. For the capital, showers in Adelaide and Melbourne, rain for Hobart, a shower or two in Canberra, possible shower for Sydney in 25 degrees, Darwin 34. Queensland, chance of a shower in Cairns and Townsville, a couple of showers in Mackay, showers and storms for Mount Isa, the chance of an afternoon storm in Longreach and Roma. Afternoon showers and storms in the Capricornia, a hot day for the Wide Bay in Burnett, expecting low to mid 30s. Here in the southeast, a mostly sunny day, there is the chance of a late shower and storm inland. I don't really think it'll reach uh, the coast too much un unless it's late evening. Potentially severe, strengthening north to northwesterly winds, temperatures tomorrow low to mid 30s. So Morton Bay westerlies around 10 knots turning northerly 15 to 20. The seas uh, reaching 1 to 2 metres offshore. Brisbane sunny day just a slight chance of that evening shower or thunderstorm a high of 33 degrees. The seven day outlook fine Friday and 32, sunny Saturday and 31, partly cloudy Sunday and 30, afternoon showers Monday and still 33 and wet across your Tuesday. Here in Ipswich 35 degrees tomorrow then low 30s Friday, Saturday, Sunday, very warm Monday with late showers wet for Tuesday. For the Gold Coast fine Friday and 30 and looking good across the weekend for the Gold Coast uh, 500 looking very good indeed. Shower 
showers uh, should return late Monday with scattered showers for Tuesday. On the Sunshine Coast, fine Friday and 31, sunny Saturday and 29. A little cloud later, Sunday and 28. Some late showers Monday and then some wet weather returning on Tuesday. But a scorcher tomorrow, guys. Uh, look out. A warm one heading our way. Another one. All right. Thanks, Gary. Before we go, let's take a look at a story not to be missed on Nine News tomorrow night. The Real Estate's Waiting Game. With interest rates rising, Southeast property prices are falling. Cash-strapped homeowners are under mortgage stress and buyers are hunting forced sales. Now, expert advice, how owners can keep banks at bay and how buyers can get a bargain. Nine News tomorrow. And that is Nine News Queensland for this evening. Tracy's next with A Current Affair. Thanks for your company. Have a good evening from all of us. Good night.